GoPro 7 going back to use yesterday. First run with this camera. It was amazing. Go check it out. Upper right hand corner. All right. We're at Runner's Druce. We're in stabilization mode. Let's run. Oh, oh, come here. Come here. How's it going? See the vapor flies. <laughs> They're there. Acquiring this shoe today, the Nike Vaporfly 4% is a little hint as to what I'm planning for 2019. This guy just, it was just released today, October 4th. So I have not even put it on my foot yet. You're going to watch that here in about 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go do a run in downtown Denver, give you my initial impressions back at the house in the studio shed. Before I forget, got to mention that, uh, stay tuned, I'll tell you what I'm going to do tomorrow with these shoes. Let's just say it's a time trial, I'm not going to tell you the distance yet. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Alright, now it's time to go, come on. So far, so good. I'm about a mile in. They feel good. They feel good. Ooh, they feel good. Moving, bouncing, pushing forward, reaching for goals. Oh. Racing buses too. Before I forget, YouTube, question of the day. What was the last pair of running shoes that you purchased and why? Think, think back. A couple people have mentioned Hoka in the past, Adidas, but what was the last running shoe you bought? Thanks, comment below. All right, about halfway done. I just want to be completely open and honest with you guys about the shoe. I have suffered for years with plantar fasciitis. In fact, second question of the day, have you ever suffered from plantar? Uh, the first mile of this run in the Nike Vaporfly 4% Fly Knit, it was really painful. But I did stop, I stretched for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and it feels amazing now. But it was strange, like I think whenever I try a new shoe, today is one of those days my planter flares up for some reason. Something I gotta keep in mind moving forward. But now, I feel like I can fly. See you at the house. Everyone loves a good uh, 
true love reaction. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> Look at those. Oh my gosh, I love them. Hey, y'all. Whoa. Isn't that fancy? Whoa. Fancy pantsy. We my new shoes, we got children, we got children. Oh, we've had a tough moment. I forgot to unbuckle him. And Michael, you're in there. What do you think, Michael? Not too I shabby. Love them. Han, those are my new shoes. Honey, these are beautiful. Those are my racers. Also, I want fingernail polish in this color. Right? Wow, okay, let's get it. Okay. Back. You hold these two. Just bombarded true love with wow. a, a gut reaction. I love the inside to the too. I Nike love Nike Vaporfly, but children are crying Vapor in the car. Vaporfly. Vaporfly. I four percent. Feels like a uh, the marathon world record was recently run in these shoes. Really? Two weeks ago. All right, <laughs> hon, I gotta go film. Joseph, how you doing? How was school? Just saw True Love's reaction. She approves, she approves of the purchase. All right, I gotta go film tonight. That's why I got the tie on. I will be back in four hours and give you the rundown on my first impressions. And the world marathon record holder wore these shoes. It's amazing. Back from work, back from work. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Got a little time lapse for you with the GoPro. Where is the GoPro, by the way? I cannot stop filming with this thing. Just PS, just put that out there. In fact, I'm gonna record something right now as we go. Basically, folks, I'm excited about this shoe. However, I am not a shoe expert. I'm gonna give you two channels to check out if you're really interested in learning more about running shoes. These guys do this a lot, running shoe reviews on YouTube. All right, the first one, is Kofuzi in Chicago. Some of you guys know Kofuzi. Kofuzi, upper right hand corner, check out his channel. The other one, he's just great, he's great. He's in Chicago. The other one is Jameson Michael, Jameson Michael. I found him more recently and again, great cinematography. Go check out his channel, upper right hand corner. So, I wanna give you some thoughts on this shoe. Basically, this shoe was worn by, I'm not going to say his name right, I'm just going to say his last name. I know how to say his last name, Kipchoge from Kenya. He ran the Berlin Marathon eh, a couple weeks ago now and set a new world record. A new world record. Two hours, one minute, and 39 seconds in the Berlin Marathon. That is averaging four minutes and 38 seconds per mile for 26 miles. That's ridiculous, that's incredible. So he wore this shoe in that race. How cool is that? So since that moment, I've been researching and eyeing this shoe and sure enough, pulled the trigger on it today and I could not be happier. A couple brief initial impressions of the shoe. Very brief, this is not my full review. That'll be coming probably in like a month. Basically, the fly knit upper was awesome, however, I, I, I had to retie the shoes probably three times because I was not used to the tongue. Basically, there is no tongue on this shoe. So that was a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of a struggle getting used to the tongue. Just putting, a, putting that out there. Another strange feel as I was running three miles today, again, this is just my first impression, is the heel has this interesting pointed back. It almost looks like a triangle here on the back. And I, I felt it a little bit on some of my strides yesterday. Uh, yesterday. It feels like yesterday. Uh, earlier today as I was running in downtown Denver. So I need to figure out what's going on and just give that... I, 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 can, I, it, I guess it's more for aerodynamics to have that point on the end, but not sure it's necessary. It felt a little strange on my heel. So Nike is claiming that the shoe, the combination of the foam and the there's a there's like a curved carbon plate inside the foam basically they're claiming that your running economy will improve by four percent if you wear this shoe just putting on the shoe and you're running forward your running economy will improve by four percent do you believe it i don't know that might be another question of the day comment down below i'm excited to test it out tomorrow and yes i'm doing a time trial a 10k last week I did a 5K, go check it out, upper right hand corner, 
Tomorrow, I'm gonna do a 10K with no speed training. I'm just gonna go run 6.2 miles as fast as I can in this shoe. I'm excited to give it a shot. Come back tomorrow, check it out. Therefore, the combination of this upper with the, the lightweight foam, the Zoom Nike foam that's very lightweight, it, it really did feel good. Now, as I said earlier, my planter flared up a little bit, but overall, I'm excited to give it a shot tomorrow. Come back, check it out. Thanks for watching me running this new shoe. I know maybe you're like, wait a minute, Seth, I thought this was a daily vlog channel, and it is. But in addition, I like to do a lot of running, and therefore you need a little bit, not a lot, a little bit of equipment for running. You don't need a hockey stick. You don't need a basketball hoop. You don't need a bicycle. You need shoes. That's all you need for running. It's amazing. Isn't that amazing? That's all you need to go get a great workout in and make yourself like healthier. And it's, uh, I, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. See beauty, work hard, love each other. Now go out and run.